today I will find out if this canoe and my new canoe pedal work. The assembly of this canoe is very simple, and the whole canoe is held together by two lashings. I will see if this is sufficient to hold the canoe together. I use 6mm thick corpust, and I can step on it. If you use 4mm thick corpust, it will not be able to handle your body weight. In future video, I will give you more details on the assembly, such as the placement of the seat, etc. I have my Gen 10 kayak with me. I have added bungee cord at the deck, a cup holder, and also moved the seat back. Both boats together weight about 30 pounds, so it's easy for me to move them around. I put one more orange lashing at the middle of the canoe. It's loosely tied it together in case I fall into the water. I may be able to grab that lashing so the canoe will not drift away from me. The water the river is very fast at about two knots. I tried the nearing first, just to test the stability. As expected, it is very stable. The pedal works really good. A little bit surprised for me. There's no flexing and I can turn the blade easily. The boat is light and I don't need a lot of force to push the boat. I could have made the blade smaller so as to reduce the weight of the pedal. In a seated position, the primary stability is still very good. Next, I want to see how stable it is if I stand on it. It seems to be fine. I tried it to rock the bow a little bit. Structurally, the bow is very strong. It didn't flex or twist. Maybe because I'm only 140 pounds. I want to check if it is easy to change from one position to the other. And the bow is stable enough for me to switch from one position to the other. After the initial testing, I have more confidence to go to deeper water. The water is still at 50 degrees Fahrenheit and I don't want to get wet. I don't have much experience with canoe, but I did learn about Jay's stroke on a 16 foot canoe a few years ago, but I've forgotten how to do that. That's why you see me just circling around the river. This canoe is made from a 10 feet by 5 feet coral plast, and the length at the water line is only 8 feet. The overall length is about 9.5 feet, and it is very similar to the under 10 feet foldable boats in the market. The tracking isn't that great, but it is very stable. This is the design trade-off. A draft of 3 inches, it can handle 200 pounds, and at 3.5 inch, it can handle 240 pounds. Try to stand up. Uh -huh. Excellent. Works. <laughs> Good design. It is so much easier to pedal with a kayak pedal. Uh -huh. So much faster in control. Uh -huh. I need to relearn and practice more with Excellent. canoe pedal strokes. I built this canoe for my friend Excellent. and it's designed to optimize the primary stability. The shape of the hull can be easily modified to make this canoe faster and tracks better. I will let my friend to decide if she wants to do that herself. I will discuss this possible changes in my future videos. This is a very successful water test. Next step for me is to finish the YouTube tutorials. Oh. I will be nearing <laughs> down. For those who may want to build this canoe, I will post the canoe plan on my website 
DIY USA dot horse. This design is also the good reference for me to build my next canoe, the two person canoe. Hope you enjoy this update. Again, thanks for your support and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please do, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.